Hi, and welcome to our video for 0 0.7, Measurements and the Metric System. Once again, this should be review of things you've done in science in years past, but just to be safe, we're going to go through it. So our measurements in chemistry we use what's called SI units, and SI stands for System International. It comes from the French, and I can't pronounce it, but there's the word. If we have a student who speaks French in class, I'll have them say it for us, because if I do it, you'll just be laughing at me. So the base units that we have to know are on our reference table in table D. So if we forget, we can always go to our reference table to see. So M measures meter, or M stands for meter, and it measures length. G, grams for mass. Unit of pressure is pascals. Unit of temperature is kelvins. Or sometimes we can also use degrees Celsius for temperature, but never Fahrenheit. Later in the year, you'll learn what some of these others mean, like moles and joules, parts per million and molarity. For right now, the important ones that we're going to use are the meter, the gram, uh, kelvin and degrees Celsius. Seconds we're not really going to use much in chemistry, but we're going to use liter. Now another important thing, notice how some of these are lowercase and some of these are capital. Especially here, lowercase m is for meters, capital M is for molarity, and they stand for different things. So it's very important to get used to using the correct lowercase versus capital letter for each of these. All right, so then these you've also seen before, these prefixes. So our things like meters and liters and grams will get modified by I think prefixes. So we don't use a prefix when it's meter. So if we want to say one meter, there's no prefix, and that means it's just one meter. Now a couple of things that you're going to really want to memorize because it's going to make your life a lot easier, even though this stuff is on the reference table. It makes your life easier. Kilo means 1,000. So when I say one kilometer or one kilometer, I'm saying 1,000 meters. If I say kilogram, I'm saying 1,000 grams. And the other ones that we're going to use Somewhat commonly, we're going to use kilo, we're going to use centi, and we're going to use milli. Okay? Micro is actually a little better by a mu, not an m, but it just didn't come out well when I transferred the uh, table here. So, kilo, centi, and milli we're going to use frequently. So, if I say one milligram, that's one thousandth of a gram, or 0 0.001 grams. If I say one centimeter, that's one one hundredth of a meter, or 0 0.01 meter. And we're going to do a bunch of these in class. But for now, a couple easy questions for question time today. And these you should be able to do nice and easy and answer each of these, and we'll discuss it in class. All right, that brings us to the end of 0 0.7. I'll see you guys at school.